Hey, what's up everyone? And uh, thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Rizal, the Traveling Island Girl. Thank you so much for watching. Every week I share travel tips to the Caribbean and other destinations that I've been to, but I especially share recommendations that I have for what to see, what to do, what to experience, and where to eat on beautiful St. Martin, an island I've been calling home for the past 20 years. Now in this video, as you can see in the background here, I'm not exactly on St. Martin. I'm in sunny Florida because, you know, an island girl needs to go on vacation every now and then as well. You're going to see more of my Florida trip in future videos, but for now, let's just talk a little bit about food, my favorite F word. And in this video, I want to share with you my 10 recommendations for French side St. Martin. So if you go back in my earlier videos, you're going to see this video right here in which I share my 10 top picks for the Dutch side of the island. So full disclosure here, this video was super hard to make just because I had to pick just 10 out of the many, many great restaurants here on the island. St. Martin is also known as the gourmet capital of the Caribbean. So you can just imagine the challenge of just picking 10 restaurants. And for you that have been here on the island before, you probably will have like one or two restaurants that are not mentioned in this list. And that is not because I don't find them good enough or they're not good or great in any way. It's just that I only had to pick 10. And these 10 are based on my personal opinion and personal experience and my taste buds, I guess. So if there are restaurants that you would like to see on this list that weren't mentioned, go ahead and comment in the comment section below. I would love to hear which one of the French side restaurants is your favorite and why. Okay, so now without any hesitation, let's just dive right into it in no particular order on number one. <music> Starting off at number one with L'Atelier. Now, L'Atelier is located in Orion Bay. To be exact, it's right on that square in the middle of Orion Bay Village. This is where you'll find L'Atelier. It's a quaint little place that specializes in meat. Now I know, as a pescatarian, why would I be interested in this restaurant? Well, let me tell you, their fish is always fresh and it's always exquisite. And what I like about this restaurant also is that uh, besides their exquisite fish, they also have really delicious cocktails. They have a cocktail menu that is to die for. And when it comes to desserts, these people definitely know what they're doing. My husband and I recently were there and we had a truffle lava cake. That is something that I thought I died and went up to have it. Alexander, the owner, has done a phenomenal job here with the atmosphere, the friendly service, the good vibes, and also, of course, the food and the drinks. Speaking of food, their menu is is always on a blackboard and so it changes all the time so don't expect to get the same dish every time you go but this is the whole attraction of eating at l'atelier l'atelier definitely requires a reservation because it's so popular and so well liked at the moment so make sure that you call them ahead of time and let them know that you're coming so for number two, we're going to go right next door to L'Atelier to Le Petit Bistro. Le Petit Bistro is another one of those French quaint little restaurants. Also, of course, in Orient Bay, like I said, it's the neighbor of L'Atelier. And they too have an amazing menu. What I like to order here is their tuna tartare. Their tuna tartare is really nice and I always order it with the garlic uh, homemade fries. And they sometimes have it on, uh, on special because it's not always on their fixed menu. So you want to try their menu but also ask about their specials the specials always have something interested on it and here too the cocktails are really good and they have a great selection in wines okay so for the number three and number four restaurants i'm gonna go over to grand Cas. and in grand Cas, if you've seen this video right here you have seen me walking through this little village this little fishing village and you also know then that the main road in grand Cas has a nickname and that nickname is restaurant alley or restaurant row and that is because it's got so many really really great restaurants so for number three, Lobert's Gourmand is definitely a great place to try out. And what makes it so special is it has a fine French cuisine and it is located in an old Creole house. It has a very intimate setting, a very, it feels almost like you're visiting a friend and you're sitting in the living area. At least that's how I feel about it. And the menu is always, always on point. Ask them about their specials because they have great nightly specials and the service is great. They always welcome you with this cocktail of some sort. 
Another thing I would recommend you to do if in case you want to dine here is definitely make a reservation. Their dining room, while special, is also on a smaller size. So definitely make a reservation before you go here. Now, on the number four spot is the Lolo's. And if you've heard anything and you've done any research on St. Martin, you know that the Lolo's is a definite must for local food. This is where locals and visitors like to gather. It's a cluster of five different restaurants, all serving pretty much the same menu, but each one highlights at one particular dish better than the other and is known for that particular dish so for instance you'll find that the crab bag on this one is better than the others or they have a better salad than the others it's it's something that you need to try so if you ask me which one is my favorite lolo's restaurant i cannot answer that question simply because all of them have something great about them so my suggestion is if you have the time try at least more than one speaking of suggestions i can highly recommend you to get the crab bag the stuffed christophine and if you dare and if you can handle it definitely try the tea punch Okay, for the number five and number six, we are still in Grand Cas. In fact, we're just gonna go down the road to this little hotel called Le Tom's de Cerise. It's a beautiful and trendy boutique hotel and it has the most amazing restaurant. What I love about this place is that you can actually get served lunch right on the beach and you get a lounge chair and umbrella to go with it. The service on the beach is exceptional, but what I love also is that afterwards you can go to the bar, which has this amazing view of the Grand Cas beach down below and the best cocktails for a sunset over Grand Cas. To be honest, I haven't tried dinner here as yet, but knowing that the lunch is so good, it's only fair to assume that the dinner is great as well. So for the next recommendation, we're going to go to the end of Grand Cas and we're actually going to go to another hotel. This time it's the Grand Cas Beach Resort. Now, as a non-guest, you will not get easy access through the hotel, but there is an alleyway on the side of the hotel that leads to the beach called Le Petit Plage or the Little Beach. On the Little Beach, you walk over a few meters and you find yourself at the Sunset Cafe. Now this one is not to be mistaken with Sunset Bar located on the Dutch side where the planes land. No, no, no. This is Sunset Cafe on the French side. And what I love about this place is not only that they have a quite big menu with a lot of options and on top of it also specials daily, but they also have a magnificent view of the Le Petit Plage down below and Creole Rock, as well as Anguilla in the distance. The view here is unbeatable. So do yourself a favor, definitely grab a long French lunch at Sunset Cafe. So for the next restaurant on the list, it's another real local delight called Enox Place. And this one is located at the Marigo Lolo's. This place, I remember it so well from, it's one of the first places that I've been to when I first arrived here on St. Martin. I remember after meeting my husband, he, he woke me up like really early in the morning, about six, and we got there around seven for a traditional St. Martin breakfast. And to this day, it is one of the best breakfasts that I've had. It's consisted of a boiled egg, a fried Johnny cake, and some salt fish. And of course, a bush tea on the side. So you can go here to Enoch's place for breakfast and lunch. And I'm not sure about dinner, but definitely breakfast and lunch. It's right there on the marketplace by the water. And another great thing is to go on Saturday, but go early. So you still have a chance of getting your hands on a Johnny cake. And on Saturdays, the market is open. So you can get your hands on fresh fish, fresh vegetables, spices and herbs from the nearby islands. So definitely head on to Marigo to Enoch's place, number seven on my list. So for the next restaurant on the list, we are still in Marigo and we're going to go for some authentic Moroccan. Le Marocain, translating to the Moroccan, is located in the center of Marigo. Here you can find yourself transported to Marrakesh. Like really, it really does feel like that. Get yourself some authentic Moroccan cuisine like tagine with couscous and of course don't forget the tea at the end. And this place also has some great entertainment on the weekends, some 
belly dancers and do yourself a favor go upstairs where they have like this whole moroccan layout with cushions and a tent it is really spectacular you do not want to miss le maroca by the way this whole list of restaurants that i'm giving you today none of them have sponsored this video and none of them have paid me for anything these are based again on my personal experiences and these are my personal recommendations to you so for the ninth recommendation today for French side restaurants, I'm going to go to 978 Sanctorum. Now, if this name sounds familiar, that's because you've probably seen it in this video right here. They are famous for their Creole brunch, but they also serve dinner and tapas and they have some live music nights as well. And you can have lunch by the pool. But I suggest you check with them first for the list of events and whatever is going on at 978 Sanctorum. Another thing that is so special besides besides the great Creole food that you can get here is of course that it is located at the villa of the actual owners of this place. Anshal and Fritz have done a phenomenal job with actually creating a whole atmosphere uh, right by the pool where they can serve brunch and tapas and have live music. So definitely a place you want to check out. They also own a 978 lounge which is located on Friars Bay. For that video you can check it out right here as well. So so definitely check out 978 Sanctorum. It's time to reveal the last restaurant recommendation on this list and that is Yvette's. Now Yvette's is an institution. I cannot call it anything else because this place is magnificent. It has been there for years and it's called after the original owner Yvette. That is the lady that used to cook all the meals. Yvette serves traditional St. Martin food. Uh, some of the things that you can order there are like goat meat and fish of all kinds. You can get some really good fried fish, boiled fish, whatever kind of fish you want. But one of the things that you must have when you're there is definitely the appetizer called Conk Yvette. Conk Yvette is pickled conch and it's served with fried mini Johnny cakes. It's delicious. So definitely visit them there in French Quarter. You will not be disappointed. I can guarantee you that. Well, it looks like we've gotten to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. But before I let you go, don't forget to comment in the comment section below and let me know which one of these restaurants you are most likely to try when you visit St. Martin. And for those of you who have been here before many times, that you've already picked your preferences when it comes to restaurants, let me know which one it is, especially if it's a restaurant that wasn't mentioned today. Don't forget to check out the video that I made of my 10 preferred restaurants on the Dutch side of the island uh, you can find it down below in the description box I made sure to, to leave a link there for you as for me I am about to continue to enjoy my vacation here in Florida I will of course be posting about my vacation here soon I am a person that is not usually visiting parks because I don't really like crowds so expect from me things that you probably never knew that you could do in Orlando Cheers, hasta la vista, I'll see you next week.